What's that sound? What? What the hell? That crazy truck! Oi, stop! Right, chase. Oh god. I think he's stolen my animals. Oh no. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. God damn it, I've lost him. I'm gonna have to go and call the police now. Well, good morning everyone, and welcome back to the farm on quite a solemn day, actually. Uh, well, you probably saw a quick clip at the beginning of the vlog of a uh, that truck we saw yesterday has actually gone up here and stolen my cows. And it's the next morning, the police have arrived, they've been here since, I don't know when last night, I can't remember, but they have been here f for such a long time, they're trying to investigate where it came from, what everything is up to. I think they're actually going to put a full on investigation here, so um, this car's sticking around here, I think they've actually got so many cars in the area currently. Now apparently they're, they've tracked the truck tracks, because these tracks here, as you can see, are the tracks from the lorry when it came in. And apparently they've tracked it as far as um, the road down there, and apparently he, he started heading, or whoever the driver was, started heading towards that direction. And I think they noticed some carvings in a track somewhere over there. So this is hot all evidence, so we can't really, we've got to go all the way around this. So it looks like they came in here, possibly backed up to there, loaded up the animals, left, well, the cows, left the gate open and the door open, uh, came racing out here, and then, as we saw, uh, they went racing down here, just through here, and along there. So, yeah, they, well, it's just my cows. The sheep are okay, just to reassure you. If you were wondering if the sheep has been stolen, it was just the cows. I think there were only about eight of them they managed to grab. Uh, but, yeah, I was hoping to get those cows into a field down there near what some of my arable fields for the summer, but that's not happening until we found them. So, sheep are doing... Okay, I don't think they've started producing any wool yet, because it's not shearing season yet, much. Yeah, not too much yet. And, uh, well, today I'm hoping to actually go and get the bales from the field that we baled up a couple days back. Uh, by the way, yeah, so it's not been too long since the last vlog, only a few days, but... Nothing's really changed apart from the cows have been stolen, obviously. And uh, I couldn't really see the driver, but I, I'm i pretty sure it, he was. Um, he had black spiky hair, or black pricked up hair, and I think he was wearing a brown shirt. I'm pretty sure. I didn't get a, too much of too much detail. But I did manage to follow him until we lost him down at the bottom of that track. So we're going to use the T6. Uh, I think, yeah, this is our bale trailer, by the way, if you're wondering what this is all about. This is the trailer for our bales. And, uh, well, we could use the iPhone Williams trailer, but I think I've still got that seed on still. Uh, plus, this one's got ramps on. So we're going to use this trailer. And... Well, jump in the T6. Okay, so we're going to back this out. Oops. And the reason why I kept it on the trailer is because I knew I was going to use this. Now, we could use that trailer over there. Apart from, it's going to be quite tricky to get the bells out eventually. Now, I'm actually going to pop this down here as I want to um, quickly uh, deal with the fork combination because it's actually uh, been programmed or something to the same button as the front loader as that trailer's ramps because those it's got automatic ramps so we're going to go over to the shed and we're going to pick up that blue bell fork 
as it won't stab the bales, really. So just quickly squeeze around there. Hopefully we can get that down on the floor. All right, I've got it detached now, and we'll get the bale fork attached now. So we'll go and attach that. There we go, and we're going to space them out and they can go like that as you can see there we go so we're now ready to go and apart from i need to go and grab the trailer very quickly am i going to fit under there oh god that's going to be close it's a very old farm and i don't want to damage it i think it's something like a grade three farm actually so we can't do well we can't do too much to it but yeah Let's just back this up quickly once again and attach quickly put the uh, plug in if you're wondering what that does it just helps the lights well it operates the lights basically and the um, air brakes because I think this thing's got air brakes so we went selfie stick mode yeah I think it might have um, air brakes so we're gonna have to go out the other w well I think we're gonna have to just quickly spin around in here just quickly go right that way and uh, what we're gonna do is head over to the smaller field which is in the town currently and we're gonna get those bales first I think there was about eight in that field seven or eight bales and then the other field had more like 15 so it's quite a good yield. I think we've got around 20 bales in total, or maybe 25, um, maybe even 30. I don't know at the moment, but yeah, I'm a bit, a little bit stressed at the moment about the cows being stolen. I just hope they're going to be okay and hoping that the police will be able to find them. I think more police will be turning up on the farm later on, possibly. Uh, to investigate any evidence that they're looking for but I think they're actually closing off entirely that whole area of the cow pen because uh, I think they want to do like this whole forensics investigation thing I don't know how it really works but I think they go and get some sort of dust thing and try and find out where with, with fingerprints and that and they're going to try and track down any paint speckles that have been dropped, anything, to track down this lorry. But there is one thing I'm concerned about, and that is if the lorry is either swapped or what some criminals like to do, you know, or particularly with organised criminals, is um, they like to burn out their vehicles and... Uh, well, they just leave them burning, and that gets rid of a load of evidence. So that is my only concern if they've done that, or they've swapped it and just trashed the other one, somehow to get rid of evidence. So, yes. Hopefully we can find out who they are and uh, what's happened to my cows. So the grass has actually grown back a lot, quite a bit, actually. So, yeah. Not too many here. I think we'll just pop the trailer just over here, actually. Let's just quickly cut out. There we go. Let's quickly unplug the plug. There we go. So, I'm still trying to get used to these, uh, this sort of bale fork, as it's kind of, it's unusual in a way but it's not the same control as like a bale grab I think it's actually quite different to a bale grab to move the um, prongs in are they called prongs? I don't know uh, there we go but it does make life easy because okay. well you can just literally just get underneath the bale and do fine so I think we're going to try and get them as close to the front as possible. 
Come on. See how that goes. The only thing I don't want it to do is just drop off. Well, that, basically, <laughs> what I was about to do. Uh, I completely missed the trailer. As you can see, my skills aren't that good. So we're going to have to flip that back over, actually. I think we could possibly just get out, get away with just getting out and uh, flipping it over that way. So come up. Did that work? No, it did not work. Oh, yeah, that worked. So let's just quickly grab that. Yes, so you're probably going to get bored, so I'm going to do a little bit, I'm going to throw the drone up and, uh, well, you can see all the action from the outside. So, we're done now. Well, we've done this field. Cleared this field of bales. Only seven bales from this field, as I thought. So, we're just going to throw some straps over. There you go. You've got to tie it up. Let's quickly do that. Uh, throw this one over. Okay, that's strapped on. Yeah, we want some over each bale, at least. And then, there we go. So, we're actually going to head over to the next field. We are going to put... I think if we can okay we can't get anything more down there I think if we put there and then put probably another layer of bales on top and then possibly put some towards the back against the ramps that might be a good thing to do but it is only a two axle trailer so I don't think we should go more than too high as um, well you know what will probably happen we'll probably and might end up overturning Quickly get out. Attach that. And there we go. So I'm quite impressed with that, actually. Looks pretty good, I think. Especially for a new boy with one of these things. And I've got the hang of it. Uh, it's basically just go up straight up to it with like that. Enclose on it and then sort of slightly open it so the bale is sort of popping out the bottom. And then just put it on the trailer easy does so yeah I think we'll leave the gate open over there I think I will come back and fertilize this grass probably later on today if we have time actually um, hopefully we do have still have a bit of fertilizer left we should have quite a bit and well it's late June now so yeah I think we're gonna be probably fertilizing this again and then I'm not sure if we'll get another cut off it I think we will do it we will do the silage cut and then we gotta quickly put slurry on it and uh, well something or any fertilizer actually um, in fact so we can just have get it more productive and uh, well We've got to do it before the 31st in that field, 31st of October, which is probably going to be in a few vlogs time. But we've got to put slurry on that fi those fields. On that field, uh, the two arable fields over there, the two arable fields in the town and the grass field we're heading to by the uh, 31st of October because it's in an area where we uh, can't spread manure or any, any fertilizers actually which could harm the river because it's actually right next to the river these fields by here so yeah we're gonna have to not do that that autobahn cop cars there might be a different one might be just watching the road to see if anything shifty comes about but i think they're also investigating the building site because um they've been having a few trespassing problems lately over there but yeah, 
Let's just take this in here. I think... Where's the best place? Quite a bumpy field, actually. I think... Probably just by here, actually. And we'll probably just work our way down the field with these bales. So... There we go. So, we'll probably grab these two, at least. And then take a go over there, take those two, these ones down here, and work our way down. But I know there's definitely more bales in this field. So we'll start with this one over here, I think. And if I can just get in more. Oops, I kind of hit the ground too hard. There we go. That is now on. So what I like to do is sort of do that. And I'm not sure I might need to we'll unstrap that back one. Because we might need to push it along a little to get this one onto the back. Yeah, that's rough. That's nearly in the centre, that one. But we're not doing any auto stacking. Uh, we can't afford an auto stacker at the moment. If you do want to know what my bank account balance is at the moment, um for this vlog series. Um, it is currently at about uh, 50,000 uh, euros because we pay euros on this country because we're in Germany and a few people actually thought that Sarah was France or in France and um, yeah that's alright so strap them on yeah we'll probably put another layer there there, there and then one there as well or well, a couple on the ramps. Uh, hopefully that will be okay, actually. But I'm not sure how many we'll have. I'll probably still stick one on the front as well. Of this, uh, of the forks. So we can carry as many bales back to the farm. We'll pop them in the hayloft, which is above the main equipment shed. And I also need to go and get the weeds sorted out on the crops. That's another thing on my to-do list. And that was another thing on my to-do list. Um, just nothing to do. Oh yeah, we've got to go and uh, possibly go and look around this place that we're going to be working on in the autumn time. Uh, I think. Well, late autumn. Oh, that's actually moved a bit. Oh god. I think I might actually have to have realign this. Hmm, that bale's being a bit of a stubborn one. Come on, Mr. Bale. Off. A little stubborn bale. Go on. No, 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 no. That's... Okay. I think I might need to do a bit of readjusting, but... I'm just going to go with this, and you can see some drone footage from it. That's a very good yield. Uh, in total, we ha have on that trailer 16 bells, and we've got four left, which brings our total up to exactly 20, which is a very good amount of bales, I'd say, uh, for a first cut. And this field hasn't had anything put on it, like fertilizer or anything. But yeah, he's actually quite good, and it looks like he's just looking at traffic, actually, if you're wondering. But I'm actually expecting a phone call at the minute, so I'll have to see what happens. So let's just quickly back up and we'll get the trailer attached and then we'll start heading out the field. So there we go, our pile of bales are on, or our stack of bales are on. Uh, I'm not sure how stable it's going to be, so we might have to go quite slowly along these roads. But hopefully it is relatively stable. Hmm. 
Oh jeez, that's my phone. Uh, hello? Yes, speaking. Uh-huh. What? Oh god. Okay. Have you found any trace of them? Right. Okay. Alright. Alright, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll see you. Where do you want me to meet? Alright. See you back at the farm, mate. Alright. Bye, bye. Okay. So, that was the police. They haven't found any trace of the person, but uh, they do know, I think they might have trace of the cows, and they found some hoof prints in the forest, which suddenly end uh, just on a track, just somewhere in that forest over there. So it's not too far away, but they're trying to investigate from where the truck is was left and they're gonna have a look about there they're gonna see if the truck is there or in the area and um, they're gonna call me back but they have found trace of the um, cows but not the truck yet oh I forgot to mention about this part here <clears throat> they're coming out possibly um, when, well, basically, they're coming out possibly around the time the next vlog comes out, or the next vlog is. So, they're actually going to come out, they're going to, I think it's a local building company, and uh, they're going to go and bring, they're just going to bring out a digger, and, um, well, they're going to possibly just scrape off the top half of the grass, or all the turf off, and I think they might either be putting down some proper dirt, like proper path dirt, like around the yard, or they might put down a bit of um, gravel, depending what they find underneath. If it's an alright surface, they might just leave it, because I believe that's what most of the paths around here are like, all the farm tracks, but they might put some gravel down. So let's go down here. My shortcut, I'm not going to take this up. Don't really fancy taking a whole trailer which might topple over along a shortcut, but well, this path is just as bad pretty much. So, hmm, I don't know. But apparently they have come, well, they have come and inspected the area. And, uh, well, yeah, everything over there should be, well, okay to do a path on but they said they might do a bit of uh, landscaping with the uh, end part to make it a little less steep so we can get some good loads up this trail is heavy actually I think all the bales are about a ton each there's eight of them we've got eight tons on the back plus the trailer and this is actually a smaller engine to the well it's not it's got the smallest engine of the range I think it's got 155 horsepower but it's got a small gearbox as well because the uh, the larger gearbox only comes with the uh, larger engine and its original job was just to cart stuff around the BGA so here we are back at the farm there we go and well, let's just go and have a quick look up at the investigation site. Okay, so we're just going to head up here now. Ooh, they put out stuff. Well, oh, things to close the area off. I think they're still investigating in there. And, uh, yeah. We've got this path. Well, I think all the tracks have sort of just degraded away over time. I think there's been quite a few people coming in and out of this place. 
But yeah, it looks like the the investigation is in full swing up here. Yeah. And uh, I think there's an officer somewhere. There's going to be an officer somewhere. I think they're actually quite busy in there. I'm not going to go in there in case they don't want me there. We're not allowed to go past here either. So, yeah, it's interesting at the moment. But, yeah. That's quite a nice Volvo police car. Quite Looks very new, actually. Yeah. But, yeah. I think we are going to... I'm just going to quickly go and phone that contracting company to see when they're actually coming. Actually, because I want to know. Because I might try and use that track out there for the silage. So I quickly go and phone them. Alright, I've just given them a quick ring. And they've said they should be actually ringing something down today. Or they might be picking up something today. Oh damn, I've left the beacon on for a couple of hours now. Better turn that off. Uh, and, uh, well, we might actually have to go down there. And because this trailer's our low loader trailer, we're going to have to use this. So what I'm actually going to do is try and find how to get these things down. I think it's that box up there. And uh, we'll try and put them, put those bales up there like that. And then I think we've actually got to go and pick up a digger, which is going to be fun. But they said it shouldn't be too big, so it shouldn't be such a big digger. Should be relatively small. There we go. Uh, I think I might stick those up. And I think we might just do this. Un All right. There we go. Uh, where's my ladder? There we go. There we go. Down the ladder we go. So, let's get started on here. And probably I'll probably see you once this has been done. There we go. That's the last one. Oh, no. I don't know how I did that. Hmm. Anyway, that's the bales all done or dealt with and we should get down from the ladder there we go and yes I'm actually going to go and detach this bale fork here and I think we actually need to go and quickly go and grab this machine that we need to go and pick up for the contracting team and uh, yeah that's what we're going to have to do so, I think this might this is our best shot. I think this will be the de most decent tractor villa for the job. And uh, there we go. Quickly get that attached. And yeah, we'll leave the front loader like that. So let's go. Okay, so we're near nearing the shop. And uh, well, well, just before I was meant to say that we're picking the machine up from the shop, and apparently they've borrowed it from the shop because it's they usually only do like garden pathways but uh, this is actually bigger than what they usually do and they usually just end up borrowing something like a digger from the shop here or the agricultural dealer and is that my tractor still on that look oh my god they haven't done anything with it oh jeez I'm going to have to chase them up on that but there we go here is the um, machine in question. Looks like a JCB. Back hoe loader. Okay, so that looks like what they're going to be using. They've got the bucket here, and I think they, I think, yeah, that looks like a sensible machine that they'd be using because that thing would just go along the path and then. That could do like any landscaping that needs doing. But we'll have to see what happens. So we're going to go and get this on the trailer now. Let's just quickly jump in. Wow. So I think I know why the reason they're not using my... Well, they're not using a... Um, back... Well, no, back... Oh, sorry. Um, a the excavator and it's mainly because it's actually by the road this uh where we're actually work where they're actually working let's get that up like that 
and I'm just going to quickly get everything folded out on the T6. Hey, I've got everything folded out now, uh, and I think we'll get, we'll drive it on, straight on, like that. Alright, so it's comfortably on the low loader trailer, and we're now just going to drive it back to the farm. And I'm not sure where they want it, I'm going to put up it in the yard for now, and we'll have to see what happens. Then. But I think they're coming quite early in a couple of days' time, or in a few days' time, I'd say. But yeah, let's just drive this home now. Oh, phone again. Ah, uh, phone, phone, where's my phone? Ah, uh, there it is. Hello? Speaking? Oh, God. Oh, no. What are you, you serious? Oh, man. Okay. All right. Just to keep trying. All right. All right. Bye then. Well, uh, probably what the worst I was dreading. They have found the truck, but they found it, and well, it's been burnt out.